As part of moves towards improving the state of education in Nigeria, governments at all levels have been admonished to invest massively in the sector as well as make funds available for educational support in rural areas. A group, Treasured Point of Light Foundation, made us known at its year 2023 back to school outreach held at Bagura community in Abelkuta, Degun state capital. Speaking to newsmen, the president of the foundation said no fewer than 300 students have benefited from the free educational materials, noting that the gesture was aimed at helping to cushion the effect of subsidy removal and the current state of the economy. Other speakers said the gesture shown to the children in the semi-rural area was to help equip the children as they get set for a new academic session. We actually had a budget of 300 children, but we're having an overflow at the moment. We're giving out school bags, school shoes, lunch bags, food flask, water bottles, textbooks, stationery, pencil, mathematical sets, and other things. I think my message is that the government should channel funds in the right direction, should channel, because we're doing this, we have not, a, not, not one inch of support from anybody. We're doing this as a body, just a body of friends, you know, coming together to put a smile on children's face and faces rather. And we have people who have resources but don't know where to channel it. So the government should help us do well and not focus on um, urban areas, so to speak. But, you know, urban areas have a lot in quotes. But people are here in the slum and don't have so much or need a little bit of encouragement, you know, to go back to school. So we need as much, if there are funds for us to do this from the government or people who have, will do better than we are doing at the moment because it's just us. School is resuming very soon and we know how hard the economy has become right now and we just want to ease the burden of the parents a little bit in our own little way, just supply the support, you know, with our own little token of school items, school bags, um, lunch boxes, bottles, books, stationeries and what have you. So that, and the impact on which it will have, it's number one, to lessen the burden of the parents, just like we said, and also to equip the children as they go back to school. Every year I've noticed that the number of kids keep increasing. It shows that uh, the socioeconomic state of the nation generally is not getting any better. But that being said, one may look at it and see the number of kids and look at what each child is taking home. You are wondering, is it not just this, is it not just that? But every year it tells you that the reason why they are here and they will stay for this long to collect one thing or the other is because they actually need it. So it's, this kind of support is something that should not stop. Some will go home with school bags, some will go home with books, uh, socks, uh, lunch boxes, water bottles. It depends on their age and, you know, but at the end of the day, everybody is going back with something. And of course, it shows that you are assisting a family as a whole. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.